Did you hear that? That kind of squishy, gooey sound? That's the sound of a bug fix snapshot. We're starting to wind down from new features. Dun 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 dun. Hello, guys, and welcome to Jake the Bile Does Snapshot Reviews. This here is Snapshot 13. Yes, that is 13 W05A. This is the first snapshot I've done in a while. I forget the last one I've done. Anyways, guys. Along this one is just a bunch of bug fixes. Um, I'll put a big, gigantic... Just, I'll just list all the bug fixes. Uh, some bug fixes are like uh, spawn protection not working properly. Difficulty command doesn't produce any messages. TNT diffuses when traveling between dimensions. Huh, that's weird. Okay. And anyways. And there's like one new feature, I believe. First thing is bone meal has been balanced. So it no longer takes seven bone meal to go through all seven stages of uh, the light the plant's growth cycle. I'm going to demonstrate it now takes... An average of two and a half bone meal, but I'm not sure how you use half of a bone meal. So there you go. Uh, that, that was like three, I believe. Two, three. Okay, uh, just, just, just three now, I guess. There you go. That one took four. Now let's do that again here. One, two. Okay, that one took two. Okay, I see what they mean. That's just like an average number. Smelling pumpkins take one, one, two. Okay, right, that was two. Uh, how about potatoes? One, two. Okay. It's looking like the average, if you were to do the math, is two and a half. So an average of one to three bone meal to grow everything fully now. Um, trees. We'll move on to trees now. A beautiful little farm set up with quartz. Okay, grab this. Now I think uh, trees are anywhere from. Whoa. That took four. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five. So it looks like they have upped the bone meal usage for uh, trees. It's it's looking that way. Wow, that was like seven there. Crazy. And on to I think the new feature. Uh, you can now create snow slabs, I believe. So you need uh, snowballs. It takes four snowballs, I believe, to make a snow block. <coughs> And then you just craft snow blocks like you would a slab. And it gives you six of them. And then. Here we go. And you can stack them to a whole block, it looks like that. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna guess if we found a snowy biome, we can have like multiple layers of snow now. Like. We'll have some that's that high. Some that high. Yeah, I think. Um, put that back, okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, implemented multiple snow heights. That's what we just did there. Crafting recipe for snow. Uh, four height fork as a slab. Drops more snowballs. Huh. That wasn't that hard to find. Okay. Now. Also, another thing I've noticed. The code does look like it's a little more optimized than normal. Um, so, there's supposed to be multiple snow layers. But I'm only seeing one layer of snow here. 
instead of like that. Um, I'd like to find an example of this. Ah, oh, here we go. These guys look like they have two. Black spike. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this has been... Oh, wait, I completely forgot about the other thing. Um, added team-based function functionality to scoreboards. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to do that. Like, I got the commands here, over here. Another web browser here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Scoreboard. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand this at all. I apologize for any inconvenience that is to the snapshot review. But, I will tell you that it now has team tracking abilities such as... Give me a sec. Okay, here we go. So you can, uh, there's a command now to add p players to a team. Uh, Friendly, f okay, uh, team colors apparently, uh, team leave, uh, basically you can set up a bunch of command blocks for like a team game. You could probably create a pretty cool uh, game off of vanilla Minecraft now with this new team scoreboard thing. Yeah. So, a little summary, uh, bone meal takes, for plants it takes anywhere from one